going to discuss about the method sequence formula. We're focusing on how to find the common ratio of a geometric sequence. What's a geometric sequence? Remember that geometric sequence is a sequence with a common ratio, or R. How do we solve for the common ratio? Common ratio is derived by dividing two consecutive terms and by using the geometric sequence formula. Let's have this example. What is the common ratio of the geometric sequence 4, 8, 16, 32? Notice that there are two consecutive terms, or more than two consecutive terms on this example. So we can just derive the common ratio by dividing two consecutive terms. So example, divided by 4, that's 2. 16 divided by 8 is positive 2. 32 divided by 16 is positive 2. So the common ratio here is positive 2. Okay, let's have another example. What is the common ratio of the geometric sequence 3, 6, blank, blank, 48? Remember that to get the common ratio, we need to divide two consecutive terms. In this case, 3 and 6 are consecutive terms. So we can just divide these two terms. So 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Therefore, the common ratio is 2. Third example, what is the common ratio of the geometric sequence 5 blank blank 135 405. Again, we can get the common ratio by dividing two consecutive terms. So in this case, 135 and 405 are consecutive terms. Ibig sabihin magkasunod. So we can just divide 405 divided by 135. Therefore, the common ratio is 3 or positive 3. Okay, next problem. What is the common ratio of a geometric sequence with 2 as the first term and 54 as the fourth term? Okay, I want you to take a look at the given geometric sequence. Ang available lang natin ay 2 as our a sub 1 and 54 as our fourth term. So walang consecutive term. How do we solve for the common ratio when there are non-consecutive terms in a given sequence? The easiest way to find R in the geometric sequence is the geometric sequence formula. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to the power of n minus 1. So ito yung gagamitin natin to get the common ratio if there's no consecutive term in a given sequence. Remember that A sub n is your last term, or it can be the term that you're going to look for. A sub 1, this is our first term. R is your common ratio, and then n is the term position, saan siya nang galing dito. Okay, let's have examples. Number one, what is the common ratio of a geometric sequence with a sub 6 equal to 729 and a sub 1 that's equal to 3? So, pag tinignan natin yung kanyang sequence, yung geometric sequence natin, ang available lang natin ay 3 as the first term or a sub 1. And then, 729 as the 6th term, or A sub 6, walang magkasunod na term. So, therefore, hindi natin pwedeng i-divide yung consecutive terms. What we need to use is the formula. So, using the formula, ang available lang natin na detail or information ay A sub 6 at A sub 1 
So, A sub 6 will be our last term. A sub 1 ang ating first term. Our common ratio. And our N is 6. So, saan ang galing yung 6? Dito sa ating A sub 6. So, let's substitute. A sub 6 is 729. Your our first term is 3. Our common ratio is R. Kasi yan ang hinahanap natin. And then, yung 5 sa nanggaling, it's 6 minus 1. So, we solve this first to get 5. Okay, next step is, let's remove 3 beside R raised to 5. So, divide both sides by 3. And then, 729 divide this also by 3. So, 729 divide by 3 is equal to 243. At yung, dito naman sa kabilang side, 3 divided by 3 is equal to R raised to 5 na lang yung matitira. Okay, next step. How do we, do we remove this exponent 5? Paano siya tinatanggal? So, what we need to do is we get the fifth root of both sides para matanggal natin yung exponent ni R. So, fifth root of 243 is equal to the fifth root of R raised to 5. So, to remember that 243 is also equal to 3 raised to 5. So, dito, pwede na natin i-cancel out yung radical, yung index, and then yung exponent na 5. And then, leaving us with the common ratio, 3. So, our common ratio in the problem number 1 is 3. Example number 2. What is the common ratio of a geometric sequence with a sub 1 that's equal to 5 and a sub 4 that's equal to 135? So, pag nilagay natin siya in a form of a sequence, wala tayong a sub 2 at a sub 3. Ang alam lang natin is a sub 1 and our a sub 4, which is 135. So, hindi natin pwedeng i-divide yung 135 sa 5 just to get the common ratio. Kasi dapat consecutive terms. So, in this case, we are going to use the formula. So, ito yung a sub 1 is our first term. a sub 4 yung gagamitin nating last term. Okay, so you have a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to 4 minus 1. So, saan ang galing yung 4 natin dito? Dito siya galing. Kinopya lang natin yun. Okay, next step. Substitute the values. 135 is the value of our a sub 4. At yung first term natin ay 5. And then r raised to 3. So, 3, saan ang galing yan? By sub, when we subtract 4 and 1, 4 minus 1 will give us 3. Okay, next step is to divide both sides by 5. So, kailangan nating tanggalin yung 5 na katabi ni R. So, we can remove this by dividing both sides by 5. Okay, so next step, 5 divided by 5 R cube divided by 5 is R cube na lang. Then, 135 divided by 5 is equal to 27 is equal to R cube. Okay, next is, let's remove yung ating exponent na 3. We can remove this by getting the root, the third root of both sides. So, third root of 27 is equal to third root of R cube. Okay, so yung 27, remember, that it's also equal to 3 cube. So, importante na maging pareho yung index natin at yung exponent na 3 so that we can cancel. So, cube root of 3 cube is equal to cube root of r cube. So, cancel natin. Ang matitira na lang is 3 is equal to r. So, that means our common ratio is 3. I hope you learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwede naman uliting panoorin yung video. And don't forget, practice pag may time.